And welcome back to post Cerberus fucking it up, everything up. It's Mass Effect 3. Yep. Dark and Ran struggling Hello. to save a galaxy that really needs to get its head out of its ass. Like, Understatement of the year. Uh, Understatement of the past two years, according to the Mass Effect timeline, but yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so what do we still have to do here? A few things. Quite a few things. So I see. That's uh, about a few things. Did we ever find that thermal pipe? I have no fucking idea. Oh it's, well. It's uh, been a while. I know where to find some things. That's the wounded Batarian. We'll get down there later. Let's see. Hmm. Where's the Batarian codes thing? Oh, wait. Probably need to go to the Spectre terminal, don't I? Yeah. It's to the embassies. Yay! And when you can see the elevator door clip through part of the mesh. <laughs> Spending too much time working on game development stuff. Yep. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. That's so nice. Yep. It's adorable. Yep. Let's see. What is in the Spectre Terminal today, anyway? A lot of stuff, oh boy. Spectre kidnapped, oh boy. A wounded male Solarian is alleged to have witnessed a Spectre being kidnapped. C-Sect officers were understandably skeptical about his claims, but subsequent investigation into the witness has left them without no doubt that he is telling the truth. He is a prominent family member of a colonial dynasty and was in the company of the Spectre when they were attacked. The Solarian, a retired expert in anti cerberus intelligence with the STG, claimed that they were ambushed as they discussed a recent Cerberus activity along the relay route towards the Valhallen threshold. Cerberus agents mm -hmm. infiltrated his home under B. Garrett Ward, shooting him in the shoulder and leaving him for dead while they incapacitated and kidnapped the Spectre. It is believed that the Spectre in question killed several before succumbing. Knowing the important, uh, importance of the intelligence, the wounded Solarian crawled into his shuttle and activated the autopilot, guiding him to, to the nearest C-Sect office. He is currently recovering in a hospital on B. Garrett Ward. From his account of the physical appearance of the Spectre, we have deduced that the missing agent is Lonar Maron. The theory is further reinforced with Spectre Maron's uncharacteristic silence and lack of communication with the Spectre office. This marks the fifth <coughs> Spectre to disappear since the Reaper War began. As such, Spectre Lonar is now officially listed as MIA until he has been located. Fifth that's Spectre. Jeez. Yeah. And they're, that's, supposed, uh, and they're supposed to be the best. Ah, yes, the Antolin investigation. Remember that one? The, vir uh, the virtual aliens? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Case closed. Testimonies taken at Beitao Station have persuaded the council author to authorize an arrest, and at, at 431 GST, Dalatras Nara was taken into custody. The STG infiltrated her mansion during the dead of night and extracted her without firing a shot. The Dalatras will never face a public trial for her role in this, but suffice to say, she will be punished for it. <clears throat> Vice Dalatras Husaru is now de facto ruler of Manavai, and has averted the threat of a Solarian civil war by faking the death of the Dalatras. The colony is now mourning its formidable matriarch. To prevent further sanctions, it appeared the Solarians will quietly provide reparations to virtual aliens. That is, if the Ark returns to collect them. Your effort has spared a species from systematic enslavement. That the virtual is irrelevant. You've averted an obscene crime, and it's noble of you to do so. 
and recompense. The few remaining virtual aliens in the real world have pledged themselves to your cause and the protection of their ailing ambassador. You have my gratitude. Yay! Always nice to get a thank you note. Mm -hmm. Since, you know, no one else gives us any. Yeah. <clears throat> Nashet slaving raids. Nashet Consortium has used slaving fleets for decades and are infamous for their total disregard for sapient rights. That's usually how slavers work. Mm -hmm. In the last year, we've collected significant evidence which proves they plan on to reclaim their power base on honor. Spearheading any assault will be their new mobile HQ, a dreadnought-sized vessel armed with the best tech on the black market. But it is treated as more of a floating palace than a true warship. Unusually, the Shadow Broker has leaked contracts signed by the Nashat Consortium and several mercenary companies, including the Grim Angels, who are providing them with aerial, armored, and biotic support. We have eyewitness statements that claim they are raiding across Sigurd's Cradle and the Valhallen Threshold. Thousands have been enslaved. We've recovered only one vid of their raids. The content is as gr grotesque as one would expect, but we've noticed another unsettling detail. A marauder stands al alongside the slavers, observing without being molested. We can't confirm that the Nehashet are indoctrinated, but his evidence is enough to prove that they're a threat and require specter intervention. Extan mm -hmm. Psychron will infiltrate the fleet and keep us praised of their plans. That's nasty. That's all. Apocalyptic cultists. Oh boy, this is a choice. The war has brought credibility to many cults that were foretelling the end of civilization. They have grown from a few dozen followers into the thousands, many of which are taking up arms for when their cult meets doomsday. Although these religions are outlawed, they are growing too powerful to ignore and too militarized to remain independent. Your specter authorization would allow negotiations to take place with these cults, bringing them into the war and keeping them from creating trouble. Though they would not be officially sanctioned religions, they would be safe from prosecution while the war rages. Did we authorize it? That's a difficult one. The choice mm. needs to be made. Mm. Are they genuinely just a doomsday cultists who have long foretold the end, or are they s sleeper agents indoctrinated into, in, into being an apocalypse cult? I guess we can authorize that. I say, I don't know. I'm flying blind. We can never really be sure if we don't at least try to, you know, interact with them. Yeah. So. Civilian consultant authorization. An importer exporter with past convictions for smuggling has offered to gather critical supplies for Alliance forces in civilian medical emergencies. CSEC believes the offer is in good faith and has refused to make an arrest, but is legally restricted from accepting her author offer without specter authorization. Nah, it's not too hard a, th a choice. Yeah. Medical supplies. Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown on the docks, but can be released to wait to memorial under Spectre authority. Yes. No point leaving them sitting there. Authorized civilian militia. CSEC has fielded a request for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel in the event of another attack. Many CSEC officers believe a militia would benefit the Citadel's state of readiness and improve morale but they lack funds and clearance for the program. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to begin training civilian volunteers using funds normally allocated to executive bonuses. I see no yes. downs- I see no downsides! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> First Erune financial report. The Erune, if you don't know, is the homeworld of the Volus, the stout ga uh, enviro suit wearers. The short ones. This hmm. financial report is for top-level embassy access only. According to financial estimates from First Irun Investment Trusts, a division of Elkos Combine, the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of the war effort for more than one year. Although military spending has stimulated certain market sectors, shortages in rationing in other areas have depressed the financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen except in entertainment areas like escapist vids and drinking. First, Irun is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key functions across the Citadel, but if the war does not end within the next year, galactic financial collapse is inevitable. 
Yikes. What the? Buy war bonds. Yeah. Back. Oh boy. We're we're back to the war bonds era, everyone. <clears throat> so I would say. Surveillance authorization. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds, but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable CSEC to tap into business feeds without informing civilian agencies. Yes. Mm-hmm. The location for a Batarian patient that they were talking about uh, a while back. He's down at a docking bay. And here we go. Batarian access codes to track apparent Batarian sabotage on the Citadel. Let's take a look. What do we got? Not here, not here. Over at the hospital. Allied forces updated. Mushroom cultists. Strata pack fanatics. Oh boy, we've got a lot of them now. Look at that stack. Well done. Yeah, that's uh, about a few windows. Improvements. It's gonna be going for a while. Let's More just keep going. Okay. <laughs> so oh, many up updates. Hundred until marine division. Oh, hey, it's over. That was actually a little less than I was expecting. All right, to the hospital. Uh, that's not where I am. Game, are you drunk? It is. It is very drunk. Well then. Okay then. Uh, okay, it's on the interior. Good thing I don't need that and I know where everything is. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? I'm in the docking bay. And over there, and over there. Yeah, we're, we're literally going to be sent running around for a while. What do we have here? Trauma module. Bonus medical capacity. Always useful. More medical capacity. That's nice. More medical capacity! That's also nice. Can never have enough meta gel. Do you? Is the map fixed? No. Perhaps. It is most certainly not. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival here. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an Ezo core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? There a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Sergeant, 
I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Man. You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. Oof. Yeah, that's... And Oof, yeah. And, and you probably don't remember, but we already know exactly how her brother fared. During one of the first side quests, you find a couple uh, logs from someone named, uh, uh, like, Artalavi. Same, same surname oh. as her. <laughs> yeah, you can bet he's, he's six feet under right now. To say the least. Probably did him a favor, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, they were kind of brainwashed, to say the least. Joel, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. I just... No I've never noticed now. You actually can see into the holding bay down there. Oh, yeah. Like, you can see the shop right there next to the Batarian that we can buy Terminus armor at. Mm-hmm. I've never noticed that in the, like... Ten playthroughs I've had of this game. Details. Learn something new every time, I guess. Anyway, this is all in the holding area now. Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It, it won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Okay. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. There should be one, yeah, about here. The other ones. <laughs> no, not the guard. I think that'll do one. With even. We didn't even pull out the Omni tool. <laughs> nah. This table is a lot more crowded than I remember it being. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. <laughs> I have a little. <laughs> I have a little. Yeah, I'll take this. I can give you the location of some ruins. Protean. On Gay Hidden, the Hades Nexus. Would you be 
get past the reaper yeah, business. I'm I'll sure you'd find that. something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. Oof. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people. I do not remember him. He was the villain for the DLC of the first game. Oh, the one who tried to blow up. Earth. Yeah. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago. Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes, looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Oh, decisions, decisions. Blue. Yeah, pragmatism. Bell, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. Well, it would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. <laughs> Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. It's for the best. Unfortunately. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, if we had just killed him, we would basically have just been genocide, and okay. in, given that so he's the reason his ships could stay alive. Something but like that. It's not too good that far. on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with Baratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ah, easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. 
in the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. If you're so remorseful, if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. Unplug this machine and me join my family. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> Your choice. If we didn't, the nurse would have done it anyway. Oh. Yeah. And he would have been vindictive about it. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Don't let it do too much. Seriously. That is... Yeah, journal, journal. Okay. Uh, what's that? Hello. Can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. Uh, don't think we can do that yet. Not even sure if we've gotten that. Not even. Sh I can't remember where we're supposed to find. I know. I think I know where we can find that. Is it time to finally leave the city? <laughs> Citadel, Citadel revisited. For now. Just yeah, just about. Uh, docks. I'm pretty sure we're done here, maybe. You noticed uh, the two Marines aren't here anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what, like, the third visit to the Citadel already? I've lost count of hmm. what visit to Citadel this is, but this is definitely, like, the third or fourth video that's solid. Citadel? Oh, look who it is. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with the Dean? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out for the Normandy. We can actually tell her no. that we can actually tell her no. Permission no, granted. fuck off. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah. It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. All the team member. Yep. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Councilor Valor. Kyle. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. 
I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the crucible. Lang has Which the means they're interested. interested. <laughs> Enough to send help? Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. Ah, so the catalyst is the color changer. <laughs> Good luck, both of you. <laughs> That's Commander, funny. The Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships, and the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Oh boy, Quarians. Finally. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact with Inasari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Well, but we need to go meet the Something hmm. they can't handle. From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Oh, I know this mission. Oh my. It is, um... I don't enjoy it. Not story-wise, just combat-wise. Also, so many more updates. Let's see what all we've got here. Solarian researchers. Yep. A sorry science team. Hmm. Alliance updates. Fifth Fleet. Smugglers are helpful. No shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 103rd Marine Division. that. Not even sure which one. Like that's a lot of audience. Yeah. 763rd mechanized. Ooh. This must have been something that just was delayed. I don't know. Comms arrays from that side mission we did last time. That's useful. Asari. A bunch of Asari stuff. It's only all of the Asari. Yeah. The Destiny Ascension. Oh yeah, that thing we saved back in the first game. Yep. Republican Guard. So, Commando Commandos. That's about right. Turians. Stores of medicine have been transferred from from the Citadel to the front line, saving lives. Go, good shit, good shit. Mm -hmm. A bunch of Solarian stuff. Uh -huh. Surprisingly, the Solarians are not worth that much in combat effectiveness. Correct. And apparently a lot of their... Um, Assets are being focused on anti-Cerberus duty. Makes sense. They well, 
the the better at cover tops than I mean, space yeah. Flight. Look at that. STG yeah. is their strongest asset. Yeah, kind of figure. Krogan. They have what? Fleet. It's like Krogan, easily one of those powerful things here. Mm hmm. The Krogan clans. Materians. Actually, but it'll, how do the Krogan compare with the Turians? Uh, the Krogans said 878 with the Turians. <laughs> it's almost the exact same. <laughs> I mean, a t the two most powerful fighting forces in the galaxy. Right behind the yeah, alliance. I'm just, I'm just amused by how close it is. I mean, let's not forget, the Krogan by themselves fought everyone to a standstill. Mm -hmm. And the alliance, upon entering the galactic stage, fought the Turians to a standstill. Like, in a one-on-one. -on -one. Huh? Just continue expanding. Just continue expanding. Eh, it's more of they finally decided to sit down and talk. <clears throat> yeah. And after that, they just, you know, humans spread like the plague. Yeah, as they do. Strata packs, a bunch of terrorists. But, uh, they're useful. Yeah. Oh, those are the various yeah. cults. From yeah, the cults that we are currently using as grunts. Hey, it's something. Citadel fleet. Citadel defense yes, force. Something. Yes, so many updates. Yeah. So many updates. On Citadel defense force. Yeah. Industrial and economic support. Thessia and economic support. Gotta love that sweeping architecture from Thessia. Sorry, like uh, their pretty lines. Yeah, he looks quite nice. Uh, I like my hard angles better. It's a matter of perspective, really. Indeed, indeed. And now we have so much to do once again. Come on, Commander. I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching. But they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Hmm. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. So much to so do. So she just casually has access to Cerberus communications. She is a communication specialist with access to one of the most advanced warships in the galaxy. Mm, fair, but still. No oh boy! More. <clears throat> Priority orders Operation Paladin. Oh my. TSF Theronade. Theron Bay, whatever, is a state-of-the-art Turian cruiser. She was in dry dock on Monet when the Reapers attacked. So far, they've ignored it. As part of the Palavan Relief Operation, engineering teams have been sent to prepare the ship and launch it. The, the operation was proceeding well until 24 hours ago when the Reapers counterattacked from Tatris. A couple of Reapers entered the combat area, although at the moment it looks like they do not realize what the, the, that our objective is to launch the ship. We are doing our best to keep them occupied while the ship is prepared. An entire operate entire Turian platoon that was securing the northern flank of the dock has disappeared along with two N7 teams. Their final com communication suggests the presence of collectors. You're the only soldier we trust to be able to take them down. This is a time-sensitive task, and we trust that your unique brand of combat doctrine will keep the Reapers occupied. 
Your objectives are to secure Firebase Condor, reestablish sensor networks, and hold the northern sector to allow the cruiser to launch. You will need to split your team in two. The Normandy Marines can help secure the sector. The Normandy can, can provide air support. Oh boy, that looks like fun. Vega wanting to wanted to have a chat. Aria, Aria telling us it's time for the Omega DLC, or at least we can start it whenever we want. Jack wanting to have a chat. Hierarchy Command, Derlesh Mole. Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. And the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Tyrion and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for a political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a Spectre, and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the Spectre office on the Citadel. Here we go oh again! Boy. Uh, Just left and we're already getting yeah. more stuff to go to the city. Oh boy, that's a whole lot of shit saying, uh... Saying? Uh, I'm, I'm scanning it. Apparently a ship carrying, uh... Something. Artifacts by the look of it? Maybe? Uh, yeah, protein artifacts. Uh, was attacked by Cerberus, with the Blue Suns uh, outright saying, no, it was not us, it was fucking Cerberus. Kai Ling, the dossier on Kai Ling, the assassin. Yeah, that's kind of useful. It's like, tour of duty, 2172, Terminus, patrol and recon, 2173, Exodus cluster, patrol and recon, reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Sentence introduced in lights of previous exemplary service. 2174, Raiden and recommended for Medal of Valor. 2175, Kite's Nest, in Tactical Reconnaissance, accepted into Interplanetary Combat Academy. 2176, received N7 designation, and in the same year, dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder. Oh. And now he's in Cerberus employ. Diana Allers wanting to get a personal interview on the cit about the cit what happened on the Citadel. And Alliance Command attack on Kamala. The Vatarians have attacked. The Vatarians have proposed an attack on Kamala, one of their main worlds. It's currently one of the major Reaper sites for processing Vatarians and the cannibals. Taking it out will cut off their supply of troops. The Vatarians propose a joint attack. They already have SIU teams on the ground, and they will plant nuclear devices at key locations but will need extraction. They've requested a ship with stealth capabilities. An attack of this scale will make Camilla unhabitable for a millennium, but times are desperate. I'm nervous. I don't trust them, especially not their leadership. They're terrorists. Admiral Lindholm disagrees and wants to take the fl fl first fleet gu in, guns blazing. She sees it as a good opportunity. I know you've had your issues with Batarians in the past, especially with the Skillion Blitz. That I trust your judgment. Where do you stand, Commander? Should we deploy First Fleet? Yes. Here goes nothing. I think it's worth it at least. Alrighty then. That's a whole lot get to get have gotten done, and now we've a whole lot more to get done. Indeed. So take a breather and we'll come back to that next time. Yay! Later. Bye-bye.